Thank you to my Patreon patrons and YouTube members. Your support keeps the lights on. If you want to access extra perks like early video access, special emotes and badges, a lounge area in the Discord server, or the ability to choose the next project setting, check the links in the description below. Now, let's get on with the video. What's going on, my kitsunes? It's your favorite great tale, Box Box, and come back at you with a brand new episode of SimCity 4 Box. Well, and in today's brand new episode, you can clearly see at the start that I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm just winging it until I eventually come up with an idea. And eventually I'm like, oh, well, we were working on East Mint Town this entire episode, so I guess that's what we're going to work with out here as the title. So yeah, that's kind of what I ended up coming with, because originally this episode, you know, it was supposed to be called I Have No Idea What I'm Doing. Also, yes, my health and education advisor is using an... I'm pretty sure that's an ableist slur that my health and education advisor is using right there in her own um, dialogue. Yeah, I don't think she's going to have a job in this city much longer for that one, but that could be just me. But anyways, right about now, uh, we're currently working on some... What is it again? I'm trying to think right about now. I'm trying to think. We're currently working on some apartments and some office areas. Again, I had no idea what I was doing at the very beginning of all of this. Again... Because, well, East Midtown is not really something I had on my mind today. Originally, I was planning on expanding the industrial district, but I decided that I didn't feel like doing that today. Although we did double the population of the city by taking this slight diversion. Maybe next episode I'll worry about the industrial district. Right now, I'm trying to get more of an area of surface for it to cover, because I do want the industrial district to be fairly large. And we also need to make sure it has good port access. I kind of just realized that, because it's actually a little bit distant from the water. So we kind of need like a seaport. Not really sure how um, Foxball can kind of like serve that. Well, maybe like in one of the other tiles that kind of like surrounds it, because there's a lot of medium tiles that surround um, Foxball. So maybe we could use that as a port as well. And maybe that could even be the airport. I'm not really sure right now. There are so many ideas running through my mind at the moment, if you have not figured it out by now. And I do also want to say what happened here too, while I'm checking the traffic. Yeah, there was a car crash earlier in the game, and I'm like, all right, which one of these rows needs to be upgraded this time? Because seriously, these sims are dumb. And I actually thought it was around the crosswalk. Oh, that has got to be like the worst thing ever, because usually when a crash occurs in the crosswalk, yeah, that, mean, that probably means a pedestrian got hit. So that's fantastic right there. That's sarcasm if you didn't catch my drift, because, well... I'm autistic, and we're not very well known for being able to deal with sarcasm very well, as you will soon see. Well, long-time viewers will have seen, but if you're, like, new to the channel, you'll soon see very quickly if you're still around. But anyways, right now we got a few other things going on at the moment. We got, you know, good old-fashioned city hall, and yes, I'm using the modern Bureau of Bureaucracy as the city hall, because, let's be real here, the actual in-game city halls... I don't know, I feel like Maxis uses kind of like the same design over and over again for the city halls. I mean, the SimCity 2013 city hall and the Sims 3 one, I should probably add, I'm pretty sure are both from Simsville. I'm pretty sure they're both repurposed from Simsville. And if you don't know what Simsville is, it's basically a game that I believe was in development in 2000, right around the same time The Sims 1 was released. So SimCity 3000, Sims 1, and SimCity 3000, I got some things I want to say on it's soundtrack and videos a little bit later, so do stay tuned for that, because I think I figured out what happened, but anyways, Simsville was basically supposed to crossbreed the best of SimCity and The Sims, and it was actually being developed at Maxis too, and it probably could have become Will Wright's next biggest hit, if not for the responses at E3. I think what really happened was a lot of people weren't very happy at and yeah, this is back when E3 was a thing, so you know this is old right here, but basically what happened is that basically in Simsville, you half controlled the town and you had half control with the Sims. And there were actually concerns at Maxis about fans half caring about the game. Not to mention that the Sims, which had been released not too long before Simsville's cancellation in January of, was it January or February of 2000? God, my brain is a blur right now. I'll have to look it up a little bit later here, but yeah, just about, just over a year before Sims 1 had been released, in fact, almost two years before, actually, Sims 1 had been released, and it had been an unexpected hit. In fact, um, at one point, I think it was in the top five best-selling games of all time before Minecraft, this was an era before Minecraft had become really popular, before Among Us had become really popular, 
Only a handful of games have ever cracked that un unobtainium mark. I almost pronounced it very incorrectly, my old pronunciation. But yeah, only a handful of games have cracked the unobtainium mark, which, if you don't know, in Game Dev Tycoon is an achievement for selling 100 million copies of a game. I have only done this a handful of times in Game Dev Tycoon, I'm not gonna lie. I've only done this a handful of times, and usually all the time it's with MMOs, so... That's no small feat right there for that Sims 1 kind of like achieved. Obviously, it took years for the franchise to actually pull those numbers, but... And I think by, by that point, Sims 2 had already been released. You know, Sims, but with Y2K, Frutiger Arrow aesthetic. I feel like it's more Frutiger Arrow. But yeah, it, it was like, you know, diverting resources away from Simsville because... It was pretty much all hands on deck with Sims 1, so the decision, along with many other games, was actually made to cancel Simsville because of exactly what was going on with The Sims and the tepid responses at E3 and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm kind of still holding out hope for a beta leak or something like that. I'm very curious as to what that game really had to kind of like, you know, offer. But anyways, we're, curr we're currently adding the pipes out here, and I said I'd say something on what was going on with SimCity 3000 tracks and videos, because you guys might have noticed their sudden disappearance. Well, it turns out my inkling about the um, content ID system was actually kind of correct. Basically, what happened was that someone made a remix of um, SimCity 3000 soundtracks, and they actually did a pretty damn good job on this, too. But here's the kicker. The artist is not the one actually claiming it. Now, if I actually tried to tell you guys who was claiming it, I'd probably get a strike on this video because how dare I criticize the person for claiming it. I'll give you a hint, they tried to take down a channel with almost a million subscribers a couple years ago. And thankfully they failed in this task out here too. And yeah, basically the label in question is affiliated with a channel. Again, I can't name it. I'll, I'll probably spill it in the comments or something like that if anyone really asks here. But let's just say that the person that I'm thinking of has a history of being just generally a vexatious litigant. So that's why you're not going to see a lot of SimCity 3000 soundtracks and videos in the future. Because um, the person claiming it is... Def they've definitely got a history of trying to attack other creators on YouTube. But anyways, we're running over time for this recording. If you did go on to enjoy, obviously you know what to do. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now. And have a great day or night. No matter where in the world you may be, dumping you off to Cinematics now. Thank you.